Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. This is gonna be a few days vlog. So I skipped an upload and I'm sitting in my bed, so obviously we're gonna talk about something. Today is Thursday, May 11th. I tried to vlog this past week and it just, it's not happening. Like, it's just not. I will take you through everything. Going back two months ago, I told you guys that I was going in to get a ultrasound done on my breasts. I was referred by my gynecologist, I saw a new gynecologist this time at the same practice as my old one because my old one was like booked and whatever. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go to a new one. She referred me to go to a, uh, to go get a sonogram done on my breast because I have like dense breasts, which just means that they're like lumpy basically. I mean, I feel like all boobs are a little lumpy, but she was like, oh, like I just, you know, I just want you to get them checked out. So I went and basically they do a sonogram or an ultrasound on your breast area and this is like a health update I guess so I should have said that I will put the timestamp here if you just want to skip to like a regular point in the vlog but um this would explain probably like why I didn't upload and why I've been a little blue but I literally just put on mascara and everything so I can't cry and they not only do your boob area they also do your armpit area too they do like this whole kind of area so they find nothing no problems in my boobs nothing in my right arm but they found a swollen lymph node in my left arm swollen lymph node could be from a whole lot of things it could be like super temporary too it could like literally be like a just that day thing like your body's fighting off infection or it arranged like more severe problems so they were like oh okay you have a swollen lymph node just to make sure it's not anything come back in two months we'll see if the swelling went down and like, you know, if it's back to normal. Because technically, if it's swollen, I mean like, I could see the picture on the ultrasound, like it was like significantly larger compared to the other ones, whatever. But I felt perfectly fine. I still feel perfectly fine. That's, let me be clear. I vlogged after that, cause I was like, wow, this sucks. I have to wait another two months. I'm a little nervous, but like, it is what it is. So I go back this week on Tuesday for the same scan. If you've never done it before, they use like, <laughs> it's literally like what you see in the movies except on your stomach, it's here, you wear like a gown, and they were really just checking in my left arm. It's still there, still the same as last time, still the same as two months ago, it's still there. Hasn't changed, hasn't whatever. They checked the right arm to compare, nothing on the right arm, it's just still on the left arm. It's definitely like raises a few like red flags, like I think that they're just like, you know, what could possibly be? Um, I did get a flu shot, but that was like literally in January because sometimes if you get an injection, they say that that can make the lymph nodes flare up, but like they really shouldn't stay inflamed for like this long, from what I understand. Or it could mean like a bunch of other stuff. Basically, it's just abnormal. So they're like, we gotta, you know, look a little bit more into this. My doctor there, I guess he's a radiologist. Um, he's so nice. They're really also nice in the office, which is really nice. And they told me this like on the literally the first scan, they were like, hey, if it's not, improved by the second one if the swelling's not going down or like you know the lymph node's not down back to normal we're gonna have to do a biopsy obviously i'm like freaking out a little bit just because the wording of that is like scary everybody in the office was so calm like all the other people getting stuff done i'm like is no one else freaked out you're like am i the only one i got my tissues we're okay so the doctor was like oh you know you got to come back for a biopsy because we want to basically what that is is they go in it's a needle biopsy and it was guided by an ultrasound the one that i got at least well they numb the area and then they go in with a needle and come out with a bunch of different like samples and then they're going to send it off to the lab so it's like not super invasive but definitely like you know they got to go in there and do it versus like the ultrasound is just kind of like looking like taking pictures from the outside i do have to be clear like he he didn't express like crazy concern. He was just like, we just need to look more into it and like see what this is. I just got my blood work done uh, in February. I feel fine. I don't really have like symptoms of anything. So like he was like, I'm really not like too concerned, but we just like need to figure out like why, you know, it shouldn't be this way. And then I was originally scheduled for the biopsy, not next week, but the week after. But I think he just saw that I was like freaked out and whatever, and he's about to go away. So he was like, you know what, we're just gonna bump it up. Like, you, you, we'll, we'll fit you in. We'll, we'll get you in before, you know, I go away. So I literally went for like the last ultrasound on Tuesday, which was two days ago, and then the biopsy today, like they got me in. So I went and did that this morning. Yeah, it's like over here. It didn't hurt so bad. It was really just like, I felt the numbing needle. And then they just like went in. I just didn't look. I, I guess I have a good decent pain tolerance, but like the numbing needle, like you really should. After that, like you feel that. And it burns for a second, but then it goes away. And from what I'm hearing, like a lot of this is just like, just to be sure, but like at the same time, now I'm waiting for the results and it's gonna be like a while because he said that testing the 
lymph nodes takes a lot longer than testing like breast tissue because they have to go through like a lot more steps. I don't freaking know. I'm not a doctor. I'm in good care and they're gonna do everything that they can. So, so basically I'm just waiting now um, and I should have the results. It's gonna be over a week from now, but I'm just waiting. I don't know what it could be. I, like I said, I feel fine. There's literally nothing I could do, you know? So I could either choose to be sad about it without even knowing, like I could get all worked up for nothing or I could just go on with my life and then just take it as it comes. I'm scared, but that's pretty much just been the emotion all week. Well, from Tuesday on, Monday was fine because I was just like, well, Monday then I was, uh, Monday I was dealing with health insurance issues, not issues, but I just turned 26, so I got kicked off my parents' insurance, so now I'm paying for my own. Of course, I'm dealing with all of this <laughs> while I'm in the midst of like switching insurance and switch now, but so Monday was the health insurance worry. And then Tuesday, I found out that I had to get the biopsy and then I was just stressed about it all Tuesday and pretty much Wednesday and worked myself up. I was able to like get some work done and stuff, but like I just haven't felt like myself. I feel very like unsettled. My parents have been like the best. They drove in Tuesday to take me to the appointment. My dad went in the car, my mom came up with me. She didn't come into the actual appointment, but like wait in the waiting room and then she did the same, they did the same today. I have a great support system. I have like really amazing friends. Ben's been great. Like I have, you know, the best people in the world. My goal for this weekend into next week is just to kind of press on with my life because like I said, what's the use of sitting here worrying about possible outcomes when it could go a million different ways, you know? Like, so I'm not gonna sit here and like worry and think like the worst case scenario when I don't know yet. I had plans tonight to go to a concert for weeks. I'm going, as I should. The doctor literally is like, you can have a drink tonight. Like you deserve it, you know? This weekend, I am going to Florida. I'll be in Florida for a week with my family. Well, hopefully that will take my mind off things. That's just the update. I'm sorry that it's emotional. I'm trying to like, I, I don't want to be that girl that just sits and cries on camera all the time. I'm really trying because I don't like watching that either. But these have definitely been some of the worst days of my life, like not gonna lie. Which means that I've lived a pretty freaking awesome life so far, for sure. Yeah, this has been pretty terrible. I'm such a believer in like positive thinking and everything too. It's just really hard to right now, but I have to. I am going to take you guys around the rest of the like few days. We're gonna cheer up, I promise. This is, it's not gonna be depressing. Like I don't want that to be the tone of this video. I just did want to start with that because I just decided to completely scrap that video. I just have felt off all week. But we're, today I decided, today is the day it turns around. We are like turning the page. We're making a change in my mood and just everything. And we're gonna focus on the good. And the good is that I am alive. I'm gonna be okay. Danielle's about to come over in like an hour and we're going to record a podcast. We're recording for next week because we're both gonna be out of town. This is gonna be a really fun one. So I think that will boost my mood. We're gonna like, you know, talk about silly stuff. I have this button down from three people. They don't sell it anymore, but maybe I'll put this on. I can't remember if I wore this in a previous episode or not. You know the vibes. Casual, cozy on the couch, so. I'm also even extra emotional today because I got my period today, so it's just like a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. There. Like, it's just everything at once today. Such is life. I'm gonna be okay. All right, I'm setting up for the podcast recording. I've been watching Jewish Matchmaking. It's so good on Netflix. Danielle's about to be here. We're doing a little like afternoon recording. I'm feeling a lot better, so we're good. I'm gonna have a little pregame here tonight before the concert, so I've just been tidying up and stuff like that. This tank top is also from Free People, if I didn't say that. It's just like a good fit. And then just little lemon leggings. Obviously I gotta clean up a little bit of this stuff. Overall, we're doing good. All right, I did not record with Danielle. I have people coming over here in like two hours and I just ordered myself food. I, I let myself get whatever I wanted today. Fuck it. I was like, you know what? Burger and fries? I like never crave a burger and fries either. At least the burger part of it. I rarely even get a burger. I got 7th Street Burger. Let me say burger one more damn time. I got a cheeseburger. Oh, I had this one time and it like changed my life. That was really good. Mmm, the pickles. And then I got fries. I asked for the side of sauce. They didn't bring it. Lucky for us, I always stay strapped. Well, I took off my makeup to redo it because I'm annoying. And I wanted to get ready for the night because I just want to feel good tonight and really just forget about everything. And I was like, you know what? Let me fill my tummy first. It was great. Also on my period, like I said, so this is hitting. I got ready. Let me show you my look because everybody's coming up. I did not time this right. Sorry, guys. Top is Revolve. I think I'm wearing this skirt that I got from ThreadUp, but it's um, American Eagle. My room's a mess. I threw everything in here. This is the look. I did hair gems, if you can even see them. Maybe a little bit. I showed it more on TikTok, but I got this on Amazon. And you just like press them in. 
super fun. People wear all sorts of mixed outfits. I'm going to the Brooklyn Mirage tonight to go see a concert. And I feel like it's a whole host of outfits, so I'm like content with this. Some people wear like literally like a bra and bottoms. I figured if there was one night to wear this top, I can link it on uh, down below as well. It's actually a bodysuit. My stomach's definitely out, but YOLO. I'll talk to you guys um, later. I'll try to get some vlog clips today. morning it is the next day i am in this cute little fit i wanted to show you guys i love an all white moment as it gets warmer outside i love it always but these shorts are from buff bunny i did a full haul of a bunch of pieces that buff bunny sent me and i forgot to include this in it they were like at the bottom of it but all the other stuff is in a haul on my tiktok this is from story lululemon sports bra yeah i was gonna take a soul cycle class today I don't think it's in the cards for me. I'm just uh, struggling a little bit. Not mentally, like, I feel a lot better today, but I am a little uh, like tired, a little hungover. You know the vibes. I got a new pair of Hoka's. I have a few other things I wanted to get done today. I kind of wanted to go shopping for my Taylor Swift concert outfit. I'm leaving town Sunday. Wow, that's really soon. So I need to start packing. So I'm going to Florida for like a week, a little less than a week, like five days. But then we come back in the week after that is the Taylor Swift concert, which I can't believe it's coming up so fast. I would love to get my outfit just like set so that I don't have to stress about it. So maybe we'll go pick that up today. I have an idea. I saw something in a store that I really like. I haven't tried it on, so we need to do that. But yeah, this is my little morning fit, which is kind of risky because I'm my period, but... I love living life on the edge. Was I wearing this button? Yeah, I wore this yesterday too, but you know, I didn't leave the house in it, so it's fine. Let me show you my new shoes. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. I'm gonna go to this place. It's a store called Dana Fully. I went last week and I got an outfit for the weekend. I'm, I love this store. I've been before. I got a dress from them one time for a movie premiere that I was uninvited to. If you know, you know. <laughs> but I ended up like being able to wear it. They have such cute stuff. And it's a mix of like vintage and like her designed pieces, but Yes, when I was there last weekend, I saw these adorable dresses, like right when I walked in. Now, what would a person wear this to? And I was thinking and thinking, and I like took a photo of them, and I was like, so cute. If I ever have an occasion, I'll come back. I literally walked out of the store with my purchases, like for the last weekend, and I was like, Brooke, the Taylor Swift concert. Oh my God, they are perfect. So giving Taylor Swift. I hope that they like work because you know i just saw it on the rack so who knows if it's flattering if they have my size you know we'll see so that's why we're gonna head over there today and then if not there are some other like shops in the area on the lower east side so you guys will come with me i will vlog on my phone i do hate though that this store it's a like community try on mirror so it's one of those freaking mirrors that it's like you know the rooms are just like the rooms with the curtain that's fine put a mirror in there for the love of god like i cannot with the like step outside and then like you know all f it's literally in the middle of the store too and then it's just like the mirrors are there so oh my god last time i was there there was a sweet group of girls like hyping me up being so nice and i was obviously hyping them up too i prefer to just have that conversation with myself so we'll pop over there let's go That was great. Secured the fit. I had a feeling it would work. It did. Now I think I need to cut myself off for the day because that was more than I planned on spending, but it's fine. I have shoes and accessories that I could use, so. You guys saw the dress in the store, but I mean, it's gorgeous. I guess I'm just spoiling my Taylor Swift outfit, but maybe you guys can help me style it. This actually could be helpful. The concert isn't for a few weeks. But like I said, I'll be away next week, so. So I have a pair of white boots that I feel like would be so cute with it. I'm just I'm a little nervous if they're gonna be comfortable enough, but let me show you. And I sent it to Danielle and Katie, and I was like, oh, she's pricey, but I love her. And Danielle was like, oh my God, Brooke, you can totally reuse that for Gals in the Go stuff. And she, I was like, brilliant, you're so right. I can wear this to a live show, photo shoot, so many things because it's pink, and we do so many pink things for Gals in the Go, obviously. So yeah, it's a really adorable store. I think they have online too. I like the like 
variations that they have of things. I feel like they have like more like edgy pieces. I got like this really funky skirt last week and then they have, you know, more girly feminine stuff. The hair blinger was such a hit last night. You ended up needing to use kind of a lot of them. Also, they came out of your hair super, super easily. Got it. They are like not super sticky. They're sticky enough that like it will stay like, you know, but they're not sticky enough that you could kind of just pull them out. So that's why I feel like you do like a lot of them because yeah, and I think they technically are reusable. Last night I kind of like pulled them all out on the way, way home. I'm still finding some in my hair, but they're not like pull it, like my hair didn't fall out with them, which I really like. So this is really fun. Just spices up a look. I feel like it's so fun for concerts or some, just like summer activity. So I actually ordered a few more like cartridges, I guess for this because they come with like these discs. So basically you pay for like the system and then you can, you know, get the refill discs. I got a bunch of other like fun patterns and not patterns, just gems basically. I haven't worn these in a while, but they're really cute. They're definitely like worn, but I feel like that's fine. I might just need to get like foot inserts or something for them because I feel like this together could be a vibe. What do we think? Because you want to wear something comfortable and I just feel like sneakers kills the look of this entirely because it's so gorgeous. So that would be working with what I have. I feel like this is lover era. Like that's kind of like what I'm going for, but I also don't think you necessarily need to dress like in one of the eras. I've seen people dress uh, in all various things for this concert. So what do, what do we think? Do you think that it could work with these boots or do you have other suggestions? I have heels, but I feel like I've run online. Like you are not supposed to wear heels, even if they're comfortable, which these two are. These are actually extremely comfortable. They're from Reformation. They're just like a chunky heel. And these are really comfy, but I haven't stood in them at a concert for, you know, six, seven, eight hours. And then these are pretty comfy too, but this is definitely like chunkier. I don't really like that. Anyways, I feel like this is like girly and feminine and cute, but I feel like everyone's gonna be like, do not wear heels. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. Anyways, help me decide. And then we'll go from there. I'm so happy. I'm like such an impulsive buyer. If I see something that I want, I buy it immediately. But this was actually the perfect thing because I saw it in the store, I took a photo of it, I thought about it, and I went back and I was like, you know what? I thought it'd be used for it. So if you're like me, maybe, then I'll like do that and the item will sell out. For example, they had this dress in a ton of different colors last week. And actually in the purple, they didn't have my size anymore. Not that it mattered anyways, because I think the pink is more like universal. Like I said, for got the go stuff and whatever. Okay, that's enough on the Taylor Swift concert outfit. I really want to sit outside. It's a lovely day. It's like 80 something degrees. I have my hair and sit outside. I haven't been reading. Maybe I'll do some reading. Been a little distracted, but I feel like reading would help because it would like get me off the computer and off my phone and like, you know, not Googling things and like not deep in my thoughts. That's why I like reading. But I'm also, when I go away next week, I'm going to do a lot of reading. I need to start packing. My brain's in a million places. Changed into an exercise dress because it is exercise dress season. And then time. I always making an afternoon coffee because I need it. I'm gonna chill for a little bit here. Ben's gonna come over later. We actually are going to another concert tomorrow, but it's during the day. Um, but I think we also wanted to like work out tomorrow and stuff. I kind of wanted to try to have like somewhat of a productive weekend, um, even with going to concerts and stuff. Just did my typical brown sugar, espresso, and then now I'm doing oat milk. Froth it all together, and then I pour ice in it. Electronic whiskers just make it that's what it is, right? An electronic whisk. That makes it so much easier. My brain's like not working. Look at all the froth. Dang. I sat outside for like 10 minutes and then I was getting emails. So no reading was done. No, that's okay though. And I barely even drank my coffee. I like got distracted. I talked to my mom on the phone. She's just been like the best the past. I mean, she's always the best. You guys know that. But this past few weeks she has seriously been the best like just so involved in the best way though um and just checking in on me like every day and stuff and i'm just i just feel so lucky i mean i guess we always talk like kind of every day i feel like we exchange like at least a text every day but it's been like you know really more like in-depth chats every day which i feel like relationships with your parents at least from my experience they definitely fluctuate in terms of like how much we're talking i remember like periods of college would go by and i'd be like oh my god i haven't like talked to my mom really with the exception of like a hi like love you going out you know haven't like really caught up on the phone in like a few weeks and then there were periods of my life where we were talking like literally every day that like on the phone for like an hour every day at least and i feel like it's very normal and people don't talk about that a lot because people always ask you know like oh are you close with your parents not just to me i feel like that's like a common just question in life is like oh are you close with your parents are you close with your siblings 
And I, a lot of people don't admit that relationships fluctuate, you know? And you could be like the same level of relationship but be like talking more or feel like you're closer. I don't know. I, I definitely have noticed that through the years. And I would definitely consider myself someone that's like close with my mom, of course, like we're so close. But even with my brother, like I feel like we'll just have periods of time where we're talking a lot more and then periods of time where it's like, wait, I haven't like talked to my brother on the phone in like a few weeks, you know? And I think that that's very normal. I feel so lucky to like be, you know, close with my family at all. I know that that's like really, as I get older, I realize that that is so amazing and it's definitely not something that I take for granted like at all having such an amazing support system and people in my life. Sal's actually moving to the city. Uh, he got a internship here this summer. So he will be moving here end of the month, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to like, I mean, I don't think we'll be hanging out like every day, but show him around a little bit and have him experience, you know, really living here. Because we grew up on Long Island and we would come in, you know, for like concerts and events or school field trips but never really like too, too much. So I'm really excited for him to like really immerse himself in it and experience it. And I know my parents are so excited for him too. So that's great. Okay, I think Ben's gonna come over in a little bit. I don't really know what else is gonna be up tonight. Probably, like I said, a little bit of packing. We've been playing this game on Switch called It Takes Two. And it's really fun. It's like a, a duo game. I think we have a succession to watch. I've been watching succession. Maybe go to bed early, like I said, because I think we might work out tomorrow. <laughs> Who are we? Like, what is this gym couple? But I really want to get a workout in before I leave, so gotta figure out when I'm doing that. Cause my flight's at 11 on Sunday. Just finished up the morning Soul Cycle class, and now I'm headed home. I took it at 8:30. It's early for a weekend, I feel like. Good morning. So Ben and I actually took that Soul Cycle class together. Um, he liked it, it was his first time. And now I'm going to get ready. We are gonna have a little bit of a morning. We're going to a concert later today, but I think we're gonna go like get breakfast and stuff. We tried to stop by uh, Lafayette, which is right like right near Soul Cycle, because the line is always so crazy for the pastries and there was no line. So I was like, hmm, is this too good to be true? And it was, they were like out of everything. So we just walked home, showered, and now we'll go somewhere for breakfast, brunch. I don't know. We'll find somewhere. Took an 8.30 class on a Saturday. Kind of intense, but it was good. Stumbled upon a street fair, so obviously going in. Kasha, this is a uh, spinach artichoke Danish. There's quite the line, so let's see if it's worth the hype. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. 